What's up, Greg? I hope you're having a great day. It's me, Mr. Worldwide. Back with another episode of, oh God, no, stop it. Please stop. Please no more. Please stop. So today I'm gonna to be talking about everybody's favorite videos on YouTube, prank videos. Everybody loves a good prank every now and again, right? But not just any prank videos. These are the worst prank videos in the whole world. I think I found the worst videos actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure that this is the worst videos ever made. So I go on Instagram a lot because uh, I'm a millennial. Over the past couple of weeks, Instagram has kept uh, putting this account in my explore page saying like, this is a video that you might like. And it's this account called Troom Troom. And it's got 568,000 followers. They basically just make DIY craft videos and stuff like that. But occasionally they post these like prank war videos. I usually just skip past them. And then one day, it, it was yesterday, actually, I found out that they have a YouTube channel. And uh, the reason I found this out is because I was scrolling down Social Blade, which is a website that lets you see people's like YouTube stats and stuff. But they also have this like list of people who have gained the most subscribers in the past 30 days. And Troom Troom was on there at like number 75. And I just remember their videos being pretty cringy. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Why, why are they so popular on YouTube? And then I went to their actual channel and that's when I started to realize just how like weird and cringy these videos are. And by the way, this channel has 3.4 million subscribers. Keep that in mind. And they've gained 600,000 subscribers in the past 30 days. So these aren't like actual prank wars. They, they're called prank wars, but they're really mostly just like instructional videos for you to be able to do pranks on your significant other. Consider this video like a how to ruin your relationship 101, basically. If you like have a girlfriend that you really like and you wanna just uh, make her miserable and uh, you know pester her all the time, these videos are definitely for you. That's, these are right up your alley. All right, let's go ahead and watch this one. It's called 15 Funny Couple Pranks, Prank Wars. It has 3.2 million views. Our old friends, Sweetie and Mickey, are at a prank war again. Watch their new funny prank compilation in this new video. Okay, so, I mean, that says it all. Sweetie and Mickey are a couple, and they're pranking each other. They're in a vicious prank war. They're dating, they love each other, and they fucking hate each other. So this is just gonna show you all the pranks they're doing on each other, and, and we're gonna learn how to do them. Sweetie and Mickey care an awful lot about each other. He makes her coffee, and she makes fresh squeezed orange juice for him in return. Pour soy sauce into a cup with coffee. Add a spoonful of stewed carrot and zucchini into the juice. Mix it well. Change a spoon to a drinking straw. They taste their cocktails at the same time. Ugh! And the prize for mutual pranking goes to both prankers. Okay, so that's a classic prank, right? I mean, just pour something that tastes bad into a thing that's supposed to taste good and then give it to someone so that they taste the bad thing and it, and it tastes bad. So I don't know, I don't really know who their target demographic is for these videos, but like, I think most people already know that prank, right? Just pour something that tastes bad into somebody's drink. Maybe this is for like, three-year-olds who are pranking their boyfriends? Is your boyfriend totally absorbed in his computer? Yes, he fucking is. Jonathan, get off your computer and look at me for once. It's time to give him a bag of chips made with love. Open a chips bag carefully. Take out half of the chips. Put in cotton pads instead. Just look, they are going in so quickly as if they're having a housewarming party inside. Look at them. They are going in so quickly as if they are having a housewarming party inside. Okay, so this is one of the weird things about these videos is that they're obviously made by people who speak a different language. You can tell by just looking at the chips. I don't know what the fuck those letters are, but they're not English. So these videos are made by someone in a different country, which completely contradicts their the about section on their YouTube page, which says, United States. So these videos are obviously made by people who speak a different language, but the person who is recording the voiceover obviously is a good English speaker because she doesn't have an accent or anything. But I think that the narration is written by the people who don't speak English and then sent to the one person who does speak English. And for some reason, the person who speaks English and is narrating them isn't like, hey guys, this doesn't make any sense. Are you sure you want me to read this word for word? Or maybe she's tried and they're just like, you 
Read it word for word. Look at how they are going inside as if they are having a housewarming party. I just don't, I don't understand. It sounds like they typed everything in in their native language and then just copied and pasted it into Google Translate and sent it to some random person in the US to record. And she just doesn't give enough of a shit to be like, hey, this is awful. Shake the bag to mix the chips with the cotton pads. Your boyfriend opens his bag. He puts chips into his mouth without looking. Oh yeah, this, we're gonna get him good this time, guys. Surprise! There's a cotton pad inside. You'd better keep an eye on what you're eating. Lots of- Jeez, he's pissed, dude. How hard is he scarfing down these chips that he doesn't notice that he's picking up chips, hard, crisp chips, and then he picks up a soft, cotton pad and how does he not notice before he puts it in his mouth that it's not the same as all the chips the hard chips that he's eating he must be watching something really intense on his computer and just scarfing down chips as fast as he can you better keep an eye on what you're eating lots of chips make a bad diet you might turn fat and ugly you might turn fat and ugly that, that seemed real. Like, all of the rest of it is kind of, like, fun, and then it's like, huh, you better watch what you eat, otherwise you're gonna get fat and ugly, you piece of shit. It's like, okay, what, what happened to the fun stuff? Can we just go back to the fun stuff? Let's make a special chocolate bar for his tea. Unwrap a chocolate bar. Shape a bar in air-dry clay. Place the chocolate on top of it. Cut off the excess clay. Leave a message on the bar. Draw a funny smiley with the tongue out. The reason I like this video so much is because they really hold your hand. Like, they say write a message on the bar, and they don't even give you a second to think of what the message might be. It's like, okay, here, dumbass, you couldn't think of anything? Draw a smiley face with the tongue sticking out. There you go. There's your message. They're just, they're really assuming that you don't know how to do any of this yourself. Change the real chocolate to the fake one. Put it into the box. Expecting another prank, Mickey smells his tea. There's nothing wrong with it. He's so naive. Take off the wrapping from your chocolate. There's white muck instead of good stuff. White muck instead of good stuff? <laughs> I wanted good stuff! I was so excited to eat my good stuff. Clay versus chocolate, it's inedible. Clay versus chocolate, it's inedible. You know that thing that I always say, clay versus chocolate, it's inedible. While your boyfriend's out of work, decorate his ordinary notebook. He'll be shocked. Cover the top with white gouache. The fuck is white goo ash? Is that a thing? White goo ash? White gouache? I don't know what the fuck white goo ash is, but I'm pretty sure that this girl's just destroying her boyfriend's laptop. That's not a prank, idiot. That's a crime. I don't care if we've been dating for eight years. You, if you paint on my laptop, I'm calling the cops. Color a funny unicorn using gouache. Here, here we go again with the hand holding. Draw a nice picture. Make it a unicorn. You don't you don't have any say. You can't come up with ideas on your own. Draw a funny picture, but make sh just make sure it's exactly this. Otherwise, the prank's not gonna work. And remember, and make sure you use gouache, please. Bring an open notebook to your boyfriend so he won't see the top. Mm, that's not suspicious at all. Your boyfriend's just sitting on his chair, and you're just like, look at your lap. Look, use your laptop now. <laughs> yeah, that's not suspicious. Let him find out later on. But why is he so angry? Both the unicorn and the flowers are so cute. It's even much better now. He'd better thank me. He'd better thank me? Uh, I mean, I did just destroy his laptop, but at least it's pretty now. Is goo ash washable? Does anybody know? I don't, e I don't know what goo ash is. Well, let my girlfriend leave her notebook alone. Oh shit, she's dead. <laughs> did you see that? He's gonna kill her. This isn't gonna be a prank anymore. He's really gonna kill his girlfriend. Take a notebook and apply several coats of plastic wrap. Wind around tight. Sweetie takes her notebook. What's up? It's impossible to open it. It's packed like a secret weapon. It's packed like a secret weapon. You know, how weapons are wrapped and, and saran wrap. The notebook competition ends in a tie. Make lovely cakes to post on Instagram. Let everyone know what you eat but your boyfriend has his own opinion about it. <laughs> what is that inflection? But your boyfriend has his own opinion about it. Put starch on top instead of powdered sugar. I just feel like one of them's gonna start poisoning the other. They're doing so much shit with food. I just imagine the next one like, sprinkled cyanide on top of the, on top of the muffin. Watch him bite into it. Looks like his reign of terror is over. Or no, actually it would be more like, looks like his reign of terror is over. Starch is not as sweet as powdered sugar but the pictures of his facial expressions will get more likes than those of the cakes. There's no need to- 
Why is he going back for a second bite? He's like, fuck you! This tastes like shit! <laughs> I still want it! Be careful. If you eat much more of that muffin, you might get fat and ugly. However, Mickey deletes the pictures. He doesn't want to become an Instagram hero. An Instagram hero? How would that make him a hero? He doesn't want to be an Instagram hero. He's a humble guy. He doesn't want everybody to see him on Instagram with a m half mouthful of muffin trying to fucking kill his girlfriend. That would turn him into a hero. <laughs> Tired of Instagram popularity, Sweetie's going to bed. Same. Honestly, that's the, on that's the only reason I ever sleep. It's because I'm just so tired of Instagram popularity. Mickey takes her phone to swipe her photos. They're so boring. When when Bay goes through your phone, when, you, uh, when, you, when you're sleeping and Bay goes through your phone, now this is relatable right here. I know how to make them interesting. Put a baby headband on your sleeping beauty's head. Take a picture on her phone. Oh man, I hope he doesn't post that on Instagram. That's gonna turn her into an Instagram hero. And nobody wants that. Sweetie leaves her makeup scattered all over. Mickey sits down and gets hurt on something sharp from her makeup bag. He gets hurt on something sharp and round and not sharp. He's going to prank her for that. Hot glue a little cactus into an empty lipstick container. Where the fuck do you get a little cactus? What is... what? I've never seen a cactus that small. First off, I would not even know where to get that cactus, so... Please provide links in the description for that. Second off, uh, are you insane? For this prank, we're gonna be irreparably damaging your girlfriend's lips. That way, you can never kiss her again, and she'll hate you. Sweetie takes her lipstick. She's going to do her lip makeup. Oh, look out! But instead of a sweet, bright lipstick, there's a prickly green cactus. Perhaps she's got a sharp tongue, but that's not a reason to use a cactus as lipstick. Jesus, she's... Oh my god, she's having a stroke. She took one look at that cactus and just... What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that reaction? Oh, oh I'm a, a cactus! Mickey takes a book in his hands. He hasn't read it for a long time. It's time for a prank. Sweetie sneaks from his back and puts a bell into his hood. Mickey hears the bell ringing, but he can't understand where the sound is coming from. Okay, how fucking dumb do you think I am? Mickey hears a bell sound behind him. Every time he turns, the bell sounds still behind him. He's wearing a hood, but he has no fucking clue where the bell could be coming from. He figures it must just be in his imagination. And over the course of the day, the bell slowly drives him insane. By the end of the day, he's a shell of the man he once was. Finally, he finds the source of the sound. It's a bell in his hood. Watch out, sweetie. Watch out, sweetie. <laughs> Watch out, sweetie. Now he's insane. He's gonna kill you. This is a prank for a group selfie. Mickey smudges glue all over his palm. Happy Sweetie runs up to take a selfie. As a bonus for a picture, she's gotten a sticky arm. Ugh, ghastly. <laughs> Ugh, ghastly. Yeah, what is it, the 1920s now? Oh, ghastly. What kind of prank is that? Haha, <laughs> as a bonus for a taking a picture, she gets a sticky arm. She just gets glue on her arm. That's not a prank. That's not like a, ha, I made you think one thing, but it's the other. It's just like, ha, I put glue on your arm. And also, now I've got it on my hand, too. I, pr I basically pranked myself as much as I pranked you. Because now I have glue all over my hand. Ghastly! While Sweetie's washing off the glue from her arm, Mickey's taking care of her deodorant. Twist out an empty antiperspirant. Remove the base. Trace it on cardboard or thick paper. Cut it out. Make a hole in the center. Assemble the container and put in the paper base. Dude, how much do you have to hate your girlfriend to do this to her? Like, this is like intricate shit now. He's like taking apart. I just can see him with little jeweler's glasses on, like intricately taking pieces apart and <laughs> di dissecting this deodorant bottle. He's like, I'm gonna fucking get her this time. Melt white colored chocolate in a double boiler. Put it into the container. Remove the streaks. Smooth the top and put on the cap. Refrigerate it. The cool chocolate looks like the real antiperspirant. Oh yeah, that looks just like the regular deodorant. Mm-hmm. That's how it looked before, yellow and flat. All right, we did it. That's the end of that's the end of the whole video.
Man, what a great set of pranks. Uh, wasn't that awful? It's just so strange. I just had to show these videos to somebody. So I'm sorry, because you're probably gonna be thinking about this all day tomorrow, like I have been for the past like week. So that's the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Guys, if you're not already Greg, make sure you subscribe. Greg is our Greg is our fan base on YouTube. It's our family. We're the strongest army on YouTube and we're the fastest growing channel on YouTube. We're right above Troom Troom. So make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications. Thank you, Liller, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with another funny video. Bye!